We're back and doing with such falling bear bones broadcasting. I'm old radio broadcaster. <laughs> it was built by a wart. My maker. Puka is a wart. Never get the I never get the last punch. Well, well that's not true. That's not true. I got it. You know, sometimes I say things and I'll tell you, and instantly my mind will say not so, and it'll, because it'll remind me of that's not remind me of an issue where that's not happened. Did you ever do that? You'll make a remark, and your brain will flash something where that's there's a, that's not what happened. Do you leave go on with that, or do you pay attention to the correction your brain just gave you? <coughs> See. Just to mock me, Puka will take the last punch. I have a Puka. No more sex balling radio broadcaster. You have a Puka, I do. Ah, you know, it took me years to recognize the Puka was there. I was raised in a house, when I was a child, that they told me was haunted. You know, it wasn't my Puka. I, to the day, don't know whether the house was haunted or not. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe in them. Nope. And I proved myself, one thing I proved before I died, before I left the house, that I wasn't going to be afraid of that ghost. And I chased it into every spooky aspect of that house. In the dark. In the pitch. Black! Where I was the most horrified. I went. You knew that house and you were afraid of ghosts, you wouldn't have done it. There's no way. I don't even get chills in my spine now. I used to get chills in my spine just thinking about it. Because when I was a kid, the day I did that, I was horrified. You ever see these movies where they go into these places like Temple of Doom and stuff? Been there. Mm -hmm. And coming back to tell a story. <laughs> I didn't find nothing. The coward ran, the ghost ran away. Man, I was a teenager. Only I've come back to tell the story. When I faced the ghost that had horrified me all my life, wouldn't face me. I, now, I was prepared to do battle. I, I, to the day, demand one of these things to appear and come before me. Just to go through the experience. I don't care if it kills me. Who cares? I want to go through it. I've heard it all my days. It's in, the Hindus believe them, I don't believe them, that's how the guy believes it, and I tell you, they're telling you it's coming. Sp uh, these uh, mystical explanations for things. Bah! It, the religion is full of mystical. Not so. Anything you talk about spirit, that's mystic. That's not so. You're a mammal. You don't, you're not, you don't spirit, you mammal. You use your conception. That's what mammals do. They use their conception. They don't spirit. You don't either. You don't, do you think a mammal goes on? My dog is going to live with me forever. You're an idiot. There's absolutely no evidence. If you're curious about this place, and you really want to get it. First thing, if you want to get this, I want to get even here. I want to get even. It's hurt me. <laughs> I want to get even. Well, what do I got to do? I got to cause a lovely effect. You want to give me with the pain of this place, and you hate pain the most vicious and the most man. You're not going to be laden. You're going to cause a lovely effect. That'll screw it up a lot more than he could done with bombing a building. What? That just made him mad. That's like have you ever walked up to a hornet's nest and hit it with a stick? That's what Ben Laden did. He walked up to a hornet's nest. They flew those planes into a building. They hit a hornet's nest with a stick. What is that it? What that do? Look at our lifestyle now. Dumbass. I'll fight him and ream him a part of his maker's dream chamber in ways he don't know. Every one of these people blowing themselves up, you better hope no afterlife. You say, oh, I'm going to go where I'll really be appreciated. Oh, yeah. My tongue, I have taste buds for you. I appreciate you. I eat that. I appreciate you. That sour horse shit turns pretty sweet in my green maker's dream chamber, and I eat it. 
What about it? Thank you. Dumbass. Can't wait to find you. Hard to make saying. Yay! Food! And I'm hungry. Mighty hungry. I can't eat it here. Watching you are starving me! And I'll keep a starving because I know the longer I starve here, the sweeter! <laughs> Whoa! You better hope that little reason you do things here ain't so! I'll warn you that one! I got another reason here that you don't know anything about. And that will eat your reason here and there. What about that? In your maker's dream chamber. Got it? I'm built for it. That's, the Lord said I wrote that script just for you, boy. How you like me? Oh, you'll change it. I'll, make, I'll have you sit on my lap. No, I said I should laugh. No. I got a sense of humor, and I'll tell you, I can't find it here, can you? I can't find a reason for a sense of humor from anything you're saying or living. But my backup from all of you, there's so much sense of humor. Whew! I see these little three-year-old kids. Man, I get a sense of humor. How about you? I think I'm the most vicious SOB there is. I see three-year-old kids, and man, between that and the American military, looks like three-year-old kids. I just, I melt! Ah! I got a sense of humor immediately! Ah! Well, that's why I'm broadcasting. <laughs> now you see why I'm broadcasting! I'm a radio broadcaster, and I know you're more. You think about me? You're a lot more! A lot more! You're priceless. Don't you think I'm priceless? <laughs> My maker says I'm priceless! I adore you. What? I built you? Don't you think I built something I adore? Nor look at you. Wow. It worked. You're an idiot. You are the it worked moron is what you are.